You thinking to yourself, you blew it. I blew it. But guess what? No, you haven't. Yeah, you've done something that is against God's uh, word, his commandments. You know, I, and it's not up to me. It's up to God. Read God's word. Read your Bible for yourself. Don't take my word, your own pastor's word. I don't care if you know the bishop, you know, the archbishop. Don't take any of our words. You look in the Bible and read it for yourself. Anything that God says that he is against, anything that God is against, uh, 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 turn off from. He said he is against it. He said he hates it. That's what you do in about face and you go the opposite way. Stay away from it. Don't do it. But if you have crossed that line and you have actually brought into your life, however it came, whether you openly went for something that God is against that you didn't know of at the time, or you probably did know, or you blindly went into something and brought it into your life because you were so young and naive and you thought that this older person or someone your same age knew so much that they wouldn't say anything to hurt or harm you. Maybe they didn't know, maybe they did know, but whatever the case you welcomed it or allowed it or was tricked to have something become a part of your life that God's word is against and you feel that you blew it. It's not as bad as you think. This is why. Psalms chapter 51 starting at verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. All you have to do is come correct. Be sincere. Be sincere. Have your mind made up that you don't want to do whatever you're doing anymore. What is that that you don't want to do anymore? Anything with God's word, anything with the Bible say is sin. But then listen to what Psalms chapter 51 says. Verse 3 says, For, in other words, because I acknowledge my transgressions. I, in other words, you tell God, I realize, I acknowledge, I admit, God, I've sinned. I did things in my life that is against your word, and I want to change. I want to change. I want to change and live my life the rest of my life from this day forward, just the way that you, Father God, in Jesus' name, instructs me, us, as in mankind, the way that we should live. And guess what? God will forgive you, and he will cleanse your sins. He'll blot your sins out like you never, ever did it. Because you are admitting that, number one, you have sinned and you're bringing true repentance. Repent is change. The meaning of repent is to change. And God knows our heart. God knows if you blowing smoke. God knows if you really are sincere. You may wake up the next morning after pouring your heart out to God and you find yourself still doing that sin that you said you didn't want to do anymore and you didn't want to be a part of anymore. Well, guess what? That doesn't mean that God didn't hear and answer your prayer. And that doesn't mean that you weren't sincere when you prayed it. Sometimes it takes time to break away from that which you made a part of your life. 
Sometime you can go cold turkey. Whatever it was that you're sinning against God in today, after you say to God through prayer in Jesus' name, I don't want to do it anymore. I messed up. This is what I've done, God. Please forgive me and wash me. You go to sleep, wake up the next morning. That doesn't mean that you weren't sincere. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes you can wake up that very next day and you're done with whatever you were dealing with, whatever you were sinning in your life with. You can be done with it, cold turkey. Never to ever do that again. But some, it takes time. It takes time. It may take a few weeks. It may take a few months. It may take a year or so. But as long as you have made up in your mind and you put that determination inside of you and God sees it, he'll strengthen you each moment, each minute, each hour, each day, each week, month, year. You will become stronger and stronger and stronger. It's not too late. It's not too late for you to forgive yourself. We all have fallen short. We all messed up, made mistakes. But it's being man or woman enough to admit I've done wrong. And I'm not alone. But how many is going to be man or woman enough to admit and then Go to God and let God know through prayer. God, I messed up. Everything you said or some of the things or one of the things in your word, in the Bible, you said that you're against, I did it. But in your Bible, I also read, Father God, your word, that you have forgiveness just waiting for me. You said that you'll wash me of my sins if I admit that I messed up. And then I repent. I change. I change from that sinful way or ways I had in my life. One more time. Psalms 51 verses 1, 2, and ending on 3. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. You never forget. You never forget the good.